This is the mind bender, and today we ask a question that will shake your very sense of existence. What if you're just a brain floating alone in space, imagining everything? Have you ever had that eerie feeling that none of this is real? Not a simulation, not a dream, something weirder. That maybe, just maybe, you're the only thing that exists. No earth, no people, no history, just you, a brain alone in a sea of randomness. Sounds insane, right? Well, this isn't just a thought experiment. In physics, this is known as the Boltzmann brain paradox, and it's not just strange, it's deeply unsettling. Ludwig Boltzmann was a 19th century physicist, one of the brilliant minds behind statistical mechanics. He saw the universe, not as orderly, but as chaos, a giant swirling soup of randomness. In this soup, things tend toward entropy, disorder, but sometimes, just sometimes, randomness produces order. Now here's the kicker. Statistically, it's far more likely for a tiny ordered structure to appear than an entire well-ordered universe. And what's the smallest form of ordered structure that still thinks? A brain, just a brain, floating in space with memories that never actually happened. Imagine this, a random fluctuation, particles suddenly form a brain, your brain, with your memories, your thoughts. You remember being born, you remember people you love, you remember watching this video, but none of it is real. Those memories? Fabricated by chance. You never had a life. You just appeared. Right now. Alone. In the void. And in a few seconds, you'll vanish. Just like that. This isn't just weird. It's a serious problem for modern physics. In models like eternal inflation or the multiverse, if space-time lasts long enough, then these random brain fluctuations should happen a lot. In fact, if you run the numbers, there should be way more Boltzmann brains than real evolved beings like us. And that's where the paradox hits hard. Because if most observers in the universe are Boltzmann brains, then statistically, you probably are too. But if you are, then nothing you see or hear or feel can be trusted. So can we solve this? Well, physicists hate it. Some say our understanding of entropy, time, or quantum gravity must be incomplete. Others hope the laws of physics simply forbid Boltzmann brains. But right now, there's no clear answer. Some just ignore it. Because honestly, it's a little too much. Still, the question lingers. So, what if you are just a Boltzmann brain, a flicker of thought, a lonely spark in the dark, imagining a life, a universe, a purpose. And even if it's all fake, the memories, the questions, the feeling of wonder, they still feel real. Maybe that's enough. This is the mind bender, where reality is always optional. Subscribe while you still exist.